Hi, I got this 9mm lens a couple of weeks ago now and I've been using it for vlogging. Really it started out as a little bit of fun but I've had quite a lot of interest from people and a few questions so I thought today I would just go into it in a little more detail for you. Well I'm back in the studio now and today I want to give you a better look at this Olympus 9mm fisheye body cap lens. comes in a bubble wrap bag with a back cap and the front of the lens has a three position lever so this is what's called a body cap lens which basically includes the lens cap uh, just for full disclosure, I will say the lens is paid for. It hasn't been given to us um, or I haven't been sponsored or paid to do this review on behalf of anyone or any company. Uh, these are purely my own opinions based on my usage. So this is a fisheye lens. It does have a very wide angle and it can make the edges of the picture look a little distorted and I was quite worried by that when I got the lens. Um, it's an incredibly low cost lens at around 100 US dollars. And it is very light, very cheap, very plasticky to feel. The lever is quite loose and feels a little flimsy. But I think one of the things that's really blown me away with this is just seeing how useful it's been and the quality that I have managed to get out of it, which has been quite surprising. Focusing is done with this lever and there are three distinct positions on the lens as well as closing the cap. The closest focus I've worked out to be around seven inches away and when I tried this the first day uh, for vlogging, I found most stuff came out very soft and I, it was clearly focusing a little bit too close. And I wasn't holding the camera close enough to my face for it to be in focus. The second position is called distance focus and that seems to be the best position to use this lens in for vlogging and most things seem to be in focus most of the time at that setting. The final position is infinity. If set to infinity for vlogging things can look a little soft. Um, obviously it has its uses if you were taking landscape shots or something wider but I've found the middle position to be the best position to use this in for the type of vlogging that I've been doing. One criticism of the lens would be how loose this lever is and it is indeed possible to get the lens in between these set positions and that does either leave the lens cap halfway across the lens or can make the image go very soft and out of focus and I've had that happen on at least two occasions so it's important to check that it's in the position you want before taking each shot. That's a little bit of a pain sometimes, uh, but there is a video out there. I'll link it below if I can find it. Uh, somebody's also had this problem with this lens and they've done a modification by adding a bit of tape to the lens just to kind of make this a bit more of a positive action in terms of going between the stops. And um, that's something I'm certainly looking at doing, I think, to this myself. The aperture on this is fixed f8. That means it's really not very good at night time or in dark places, indoors, etc. Uh, I did a little bit of shooting with this indoors uh, yesterday and uh, actually have a couple of comparison shots uh, shooting with the f2.8 and the f8 just to give you a feel for that. Overall, however, I've been very pleased with this lens. 
taking this rig out and using it for vlogging has proved to be quite difficult. Um, it's obviously considerably heavier, but I actually find I have trouble getting auto focus to work on this lens, um, possibly because I wear glasses and often wear a cap. I just never, or, or it may even be just too close, but I never seem to be able to get focus and I can't trust this to do a piece to camera and know that it's actually going to be in focus. The, the f2.8 is a fantastic lens, but it just doesn't suit my needs for vlogging. When you fit the lens to the camera and turn it on, there instantly comes up with a message on screen saying it cannot recognize the focal length of the lens and do you want to change it manually? Uh, one thing I have found with the G80 is there's a setting for 10 millimeters. Um, I think there's one for eight millimeters, but there's not one for nine millimeters. So I've had to set to 10 millimeters being as close as I can get to it. Not really sure what that setting does anyway or what difference it actually makes. Beyond that, the lens then should be in focus at arm's length or closer. And with the wide field of view, uh, it makes it a great lens for vlogging. I'm not using this with the display out. I can trust enough that by pointing it at my face, I'm pretty much going to be in shot. Uh, I'm shooting at 4K. Uh, if I'm only doing a 1080 vlog, it gives me provision to crop in if necessary as well. Another question that's come in is actually about the rig itself that I'm using here. So I have a Panasonic G80 or G85 if you're in the States. A uh, little screw on handle I use, which came with one of my Aperture uh, M9 lamps. And the Rode Video Micro, which has proven to be a very nice, easy to use little microphone. Sound quality seems to be pretty good on it, even out in traffic and wind noise. And unlike the VideoMic Pro, it doesn't take a battery, so there's none of this forgetting to turn the mic on and not getting any sound. Also, the VideoMic Pro that we've got is uh, one of the early versions and the shock mount wasn't as good on it. We bought a Ryko replacement one, but it's all very large and bulky. And this thing is just absolutely beautiful and tiny and so light, this whole rig weighs in less or around 600 grams and it's incredibly light. Uh, several times I've picked this up to take it out and use it and gone to check the battery because it felt like there wasn't a battery in it, it was so light. With this little lens on, there's just no weight to it at all. So uh, it's proving to be a really good little vlogging rig. If you have any questions about the lens or any of the other setup, please do drop them in the comments below. Well, I hope you found that useful. If you did, please click like and subscribe and drop me a comment below and I'll see you again next time.